A group of 30 students from Butler Traditional High School took a trip to Washington, D.C. this past weekend. They got to see our nation's history up close on the 4th of July. But perhaps what made it an even more impactful trip was the addition of a Louisville man who lived through the history they learned about in school. Rose McBride has the story. After their trip was postponed a number of times due to COVID, these Butler High School students were excited to finally arrive in Washington, D.C. I love this history stuff like the American Revolution, Civil War, like I'm a nerd in that too. Uh, like I saw this trip and I was really excited for it and I had to go. Seeing like the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution because if those are just like literal pieces of history and it's just really cool to see that in person. They spent the weekend checking out memorials and monuments on the day our country was founded. When they got to the tomb of the unknown soldier at Arlington National Cemetery, they got to witness a truly special moment. Last week when I heard about that we're going to have a veteran at the tomb of the unknown soldiers, I thought that was really cool and a once in a life experience that most people will not get to experience. The trip organizer asked Butler academic instructional coach Missy Calloway if her father, World War II veteran Jack Doyle, would like to come and lay a wreath on the tomb. She said, are you sitting down? Well, I, have, I only have one leg. I and I've been sitting for 10 years. Callaway Doyle and their family made the trip to Washington, D.C. for the occasion. It was terrifying. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Terrifying, but an experience Doyle will always remember. Afterwards, he was thanked and honored and got to meet some of the people watching the ceremony. Doyle was able to go on an honor flight to D.C. years ago and see the monuments and memorials. This trip was another one to add to his list of once-in-a-lifetime memories. Just, I don't know how you explain it. It's more than a lifetime experience. It's something you put in your pocket and you'll never forget about it. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.